Well, welcome to my next video of Finding Mark and Maine, part of this channel. How am I supposed to get any work done with you? Hey, what are you doing? What are you doing up there? Are you going to help? All right. This is a Mansfield toilet. I am going to be replacing... Not this guy who has been ext extremely helpful. I'm going to be replacing the flush valve kit and replacing the existing uh, flow unit, I'm not flow unit, the fill valve with a flapper type. And I'll, uh, let me go over what's going on inside here. All right, I've already shut the water off on the uh, tank. Let me show you where that shut off is. Uh, for my tank, I actually have two. I have this one here. And I also have this one down below that came with the house but has never worked. I don't dare turn it because I'm pretty sure it would break. So I added the this one up here because before that I had to go under the house um, you know, to shut off the water to the tank. Let me take these off and I'm going to show you what's going on inside. Alright, so without this here... Let me show you down inside. I have uh, two problems. One, this unit down here, I know you can probably see that red gasket that's down there. What you probably won't be able to see is that parts of the gasket are worn out. So what's happening is even though this would fill up, it would slowly drain and keep filling and filling, uh, causing my pump to run unnecessarily. Now the other issue I have, I'm going to replace this unit as well. Um, because I've tightened this up as far as it will go. I've adjusted this as far as I could um, to try and keep the water flow also from coming in to stop here once this is full. And uh, as far as replacing this with the flap, the uh, flapper instead of this unit, only because uh, it was actually, I think, a little bit cheaper to do this system here than it was to replace this whole unit. Right, there are three bolts holding this tank in. This one, one in back, and one on the other side. All right, I have a 13 millimeter wrench that'll make this a whole lot easier uh, to start this. So I'm going to loosen all of these, and then once this is done, uh, I will also loosen this here. Actually, I wonder if I can do that by help. Oh. Oh. That's good. And really, it only need, this will actually only need to be tight by hand. I'm kind of skipping around here, but I almost forgot about the tank fill. There's going to be some water uh, in that, so I'm just going to let that drip right down on the towel. All right, so I'm going to loosen these three up, and then I'll resume the video when I'm getting ready to take the tank off. All right, I've got the first nut off, and then it's followed by a washer and a gasket, a rubber gasket. So that way when you're tightening this, uh, you're not going to uh, crack the porcelain. It's a little snug, but... Uh, and this is going to be some water drippage from uh, inside the tank, which is perfectly normal. That's why I have the towel underneath here. All right, so I'll finish those other two and we'll get back to removing the tank. Hi, this gasket I did have to replace in the past. Since I'm taking this all apart, I will replace this uh, as well. Might as well put a new one of those in. So next it's going to be disassembling, um, taking apart all this old stuff and putting the new pieces in. All right, so I'm just gonna take this off of this connection here. That should pop right out. And I believe this turns counterclockwise to come out of there. And I'll have to put a little bit of pressure on the handle to get that to come out. Alright, now where I'm up here, I must as well 
take this out off of here. I know I could probably wait until I unscrew it from underneath, but since this is that right side up, I'm just going to take a minute to unscrew that. Next, I have these two units to remove here. This should come off fairly easily. Just get this all set. Probably should have a bigger set of water pump pliers, but this should work for what I need. Alright, I'm just going to wiggle this take this piece out and uh, this is what I'll need to hold here to keep that piece from turning while I try and loosen this up here all right so let's do an update on the uh, issue with this unit here now normally I should have been able to take this off by myself with um, a large set of plumbers wrench just around this to loosen it up however this was on so tight that uh, I had my brother come over I held this part inside with my hands uh, while he on the other side finally got this loose this is the issue I was having with the uh, tank constantly trying to fill up this part itself of course was working fine but since this gasket would not seal then this piece would come down it was a very slow leak into the bowl of the tank just enough that maybe every few minutes or so it would try and fill up and eventually the water pump underneath the house would fill would come on and if i turned the pump not turn the pump up but i've shut the water going to this i want to say within half a day this would empty right out so essentially twice a day this would have been emptying out and filling up unnecessarily uh, what I've also done is I did clean out the bottom inside here because I want to make sure when I put everything back together there's no dirt uh, or any small pieces of uh, leftover stuff that would cause it to not seal. Alright, it's time to start putting some things back together. Uh, the uh, fill valve and flapper that I bought to replace the previous fill system before uh, this comes with a flapper which I actually won't need to use because uh, since I needed to replace the flushing system itself this right here this one that I bought already comes with a flapper so this will just be an extra one but I still need this component here I'll just take this out of the box and we'll get ready to uh, install that into the uh, into the tank. All right, so when I put uh, this unit in here, I'm going to make sure that this uh, overflow tube is further away from this side of the tank where the handle and the fill valve system is going to go. And then on the bottom, once the thread is through, maybe I can show you. All right. All right, so before I tighten this up, uh, one of the things you can see is that this is the water level of the tank, uh, which shouldn't exceed this. Now, right now, this is too high, which I knew I was going to have to cut a little bit of this off, which I will uh, make sure it's just below this water level line, but low enough below the fill valve. What I recommend is, uh, again, I'm not a professional. I say follow the directions, whatever they recommend. However, when I put the locking ring on, I'm going to make it snug by hand. Then maybe turn it quarter of a turn with the vice grip just to make sure that it's uh, creating a nice seal and snug. That is nice and snug. That's not going anywhere. I turned it, I'm guessing, maybe quarter of a turn. And what I also wanted to show you to make sure is that this, when it's positioned here, is not in the way 
of this handle doing its job to raise the flapper. So the next step is to put the uh, fill valve in this side over here. All right, so this piece here, the fill valve, the top part of this should be, according to directions, about three inches above this piece here. Now there is a locking ring here. If I take this off, this will adjust up and down. Initially, I'm not going to adjust this. I really can't till it's in here. I have taken this locking ring off. I'm going to put this inside, install this, and then adjust it accordingly so it's above the uh, overflow tube. I have the overflow tube installed. I have the fill valve installed. I will be adjusting this after uh, the tank is installed and filled up to make sure because this has this actually has to go a little bit higher obviously. All right, it's time to put the tank back on. So the next step is to slide this over this piece here that's going to going to create uh, the seal so that the tank is not dripping out uh, on the floor. I will need to put the bolts in through here and then set the tank on here and secure it with those three bolts. Well, it does seem the manufacturer goofed a little bit because they sent me two of these but four nuts instead of three and three. So what I'm just going to do is I'm going to make sure that the nuts that came with the system will fit the old bolt. There's nothing wrong with this bolt. I'm going to use the new um, gaskets on this old bolt and it ho should hold just fine. So let's take this off. Alright, slip these new gaskets right on. These will create the seal inside the tank uh, to keep it from leaking out. Uh, actually, you know what, maybe, let me see if I can do this with the bolts just sitting in there and line them all up. Alright, here's the moment of truth. All right, that seems to be lined up properly. So what I'll need to do now is to uh, put the washer, the gasket, and the nuts underneath back on to hold this tank uh, into place. All right, so what I'm doing initially to just hand tighten each of these bolts is I'm, I'm pushing down on the top while underneath, uh, while underneath, uh, putting the new washer, gasket, and nut on. Uh, and then I'll do a little bit of uh, tightening after with a wrench, but not uh, just enough to snug it up to keep, to, to keep everything from leaking. All right, there's a few left, a uh, few things left to do in here. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to raise this up, put that locking ring down in place. So this is approximately three inches above this. I, I know it's a little bit hard to see, but there's a white ring right down here that once this height is adjusted, that will lock this uh, into place. The next thing is the fill tube going from this to this piece right here. I'm going to attach that right here. And this will attach here. All right, so that will not be in the way it's not going to be I didn't want it so long that it's going to be crimped when the tank cover goes on here. Now the last thing to do will be to 
adjust this so that when I'm uh, flushing the toilet, this valve actually opens because right now the chain is too long. So I'm just going to slip this off of this up and over and then bring this down lower here to an appropriate spot. Alright, so I went about halfway down. Uh, there is a little bit of a loose chain. It's not interfering with this if it were. I could just probably add it up onto this in here to keep it out of the way. So now, this is what will occur. Let's even give you a better view here. I'm going to go to flush, and then that will seal. This is all hooked up. Now, the last thing I need to do is to actually hook the water back up to this, and then do a slow fill and check for leaks. I'm just going to hand tighten that and then see if I can, this is not my most favorite uh, shut off, um, but I'm going to at least try and turn it on slowly at first to uh, check the tank for any leaks. Alright, with the help of my assistant Sherlock, uh, I'm going to be checking leaks. Now where I'm going to be looking, I've got the flashlight on my camera on, first I'm going to check uh, each of the bolts, not just there, but also, see if I can show you in between here, check in between, and also make sure that the uh, red gasket you saw that's aligning the tank, sorry, sealing the tank between this and this here, that there are no leaks coming down. So far, so good. I am not seeing anything, but uh, I will check it, let this fill up, and then uh, we'll go the next step. I'll give you an update. Alright, the tank is filling up. Uh, I'm actually going to open the valve in full to uh, finish this filling up. That is almost to the top of this. It's almost to where it originally was. That's already adjusted to a point where the water isn't going to fill up any further, which I think is going to be fine. So. Let's uh let's like just flush we'll do a flush on the inside here, see what happens. The flap should go down. Uh, I'm going to leave it just like that. I'm gonna call this a success. The only thing I had to do is I had to adjust this so this lever wasn't too far down. Alright, to give you an idea of what was happening uh, before with the old system is that gasket that I showed you that was um, breaking apart. You won't be able to see it in here, but uh, let me, maybe you can see a little bit. All right, now this is the normal process of filling up the tank. You would expect to see this. However, what was happening with the old gasket, uh, this was continuously flowing at this level. I know it's a little bit hard to see, uh, but you can see the um, surface of the water uh, being affected by the flow. So even though it was very slow, it was enough that this tank was emptying out probably in less than half a day. Uh, are you going to get a drink of water? Nope. Okay. And, uh, and the way I could tell is around the rim here, there is nothing dripping down at this point. You can actually see some of the water tracks where it was continuously dripping. There does not appear to be any leaks. Alright, so folks, uh, I hope you found this video, if uh, nothing else, entertaining. Okay, I'll admit I'm not the most mechanical person, but I would say if I can do this, I think uh, you guys can too. So don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share.